Here is the real secret to growing through adversity. Eleanor Beaton here, delighted to be here with you. Welcome to the 2% Scaling Strategies for Women Entrepreneurs. And so many of you are really focused on doing what you can to grow your businesses through adversity. Now, for some of you, you might be completely shut down and that's not possible. For others of you, you are able to continue to be running your businesses and inside you have this goal to actually continue growing the business through adversity. And so I wanted to share what the secret is to doing that. And it is to be visible, to continue showing up. And the reality is that during times of adversity, during times of uncertainty and challenge, it's very common for leaders to not want to show up, to be focused on the work at hand, to bury ourselves in the work that feels super important to us, and to not be as visible as we need to be. And I want to share with you why our maybe natural instincts around doing that actually are not serving us. So from 2002 to 2014, I ran a boutique consulting, communications consulting company. I loved it. Um, the focus was really around helping leaders and organizations clarify their message so they could drive stronger results. So in some cases, we were working with business leaders to help them grow returns, um, to you know enhance their bottom line, to grow sales, to move into new territories. Um, sometimes we were working with uh, organizations, nonprofits, NGOs that we really believed in, helping them to transform change and shift public policy by really helping them refine and work on their messaging and their lobby. And in some cases, in some of the most memorable, you know, instances, I was working with leaders who were besieged. So they were um, leading through a crisis and really supporting them and advising them on how to communicate through a crisis. And um, one of the hallmarks, one of the most important things when it comes to leading through a crisis for CEOs, founders, leaders is to be visible to over communicate. You know, you want to be clear about what message you're putting out there, but you want to be present, you want to be visible, you want to over communicate. Now, I want you to think about, you know, the situations that some of these leaders would be in. They were under sometimes intense media scrutiny um, and sometimes intense and very accusatory scrutiny um, from the outside world. The last thing that they wanted to do was to be visible, but they did it because that's what leaders do. They had to step up into the light and be the voice of their company. They had to lead. They had to be visible and over communicate. And I think about that because for many of you right now, you're not under a harsh media spotlight, but you are leading your business through adversity and you do need to be a spokesperson for your organization. And yeah, maybe nobody's calling you up to get your, you know, you might not have media outlets calling you and asking you for your opinion, but you still have an audience of people who need to hear from you. You might have customers, clients, prospects, or sort of a broader social community who um, could really benefit from the insight or wisdom that you have to share right now. And so the last thing that you want to do is disappear. And the challenge is that I see so many leaders doing that right now. And maybe you're telling yourself, you know, uh, the online world is so saturated. Who really needs to hear from me right now? What could I contribute to the conversation? And the reality is that, you know, um, you, many of you have a powerful message to share. You have valuable information that your audience needs to hear right now. And the last thing you want to do is disappear. You know, it's like the friend, my mom used to call them fair weather friends. So the friends who were always around for the party, but if you ever needed a hand, they suddenly disappeared who, or had other things to do. That's called a fair weather friend. So you don't want to be a fair weather leader. The way that you grow through adversity is to continue to be present, to continue to to be visible. You know, I was coaching a client today and we were talking through a section of her market um, that has actually stopped buying. So they have cut their budgets. They're not buying what her company offers. And, you know, one of the things that we were talking about is how critical it is for her to continue to be present in front of that marketplace. Otherwise, by not engaging, by not being visible, otherwise she's being a fair weather friend, not intentionally. And you can see, you know, she's telling herself, I don't want to bother them but it's still really important that she remains visible. So stay visible, 
over communicate during times of uncertainty, we crave leadership. We crave leadership at all times, but especially during times of uncertainty. So I really want to make sure that if you're watching this, if you're leading a company, make sure that you are continuing to be visible. Don't forget about your email newsletter. Continue to send that out. Um, try to, where you can, create a weekly video or a podcast episode or an article that's going to serve your audience and make sure that you are really, you know, tailoring that message to what people need right now. That's one of the things that we're talking a lot about in one of our programs called Marketing Through Adversity. The next question that you might have is, okay, great. I'm committed to being visible. What do I say? And so there's a couple tips that I would offer you there. Number one is I, I want you to really sort of put on your customer hat or your client hat and think through with respect to your particular offer area, what would their questions be? What questions would they have about what you offer right now? So that's the first thing that you want to um, definitely be thinking about. And then I want you also to consider weaving more storytelling into your overall communication. Um, you know, words tell, stories sell. So if you really want to um, increase your ability to be compelling, to increase the memorability of the material and the memorability of your, of your brand, I want you to think about weaving storytelling into your communication. I am leading a webinar on how to sell the story tomorrow. I'm going to ultimately be offering this as a paid program, but it's the first time I'm teaching it. So I'm going to teach it as a free uh, masterclass that's happening tomorrow. You can get your hands on it at eleanorbeaton.com forward slash story. So it's a live training. It's happening tomorrow. It will be a paid course, but I'm testing out the material. So I'm doing it as a free webinar to begin with. Um, go to eleanorbeaton.com forward slash story. Get that training while you still can. And I think it's really going to help you communicate more effectively and think through creative ways to continue to be visible visible to your community, uh, this is the time to do that, you know, and it's the key to growing through adversity because this is a time when your audience is really looking for the brands that are connecting with them. They're looking for the brands who are showing up. They are um, saying goodbye to fair weather friends and really locking in on the companies, brands, advisors, you know, uh, um, you know, partners who are showing up consistently. I hope this was useful to you and I will talk to you guys soon and hopefully see you on the webinar, eleanorbeaton.com forward slash story. Talk to you soon.